Hey, so we're here at the Alvord Creek fossil site, roughly 20 million years old in the beautiful Alvord Desert of Southeast Oregon. And what we're doing here is we're digging fossil plants from a site first worked on in about the 1930s and 40s. We're collecting from these light colored sediments in the hillside here, and you might be able to see our quarry there on the hillside. And so why this site is of particular interest is if you look right here, all this black rock you see high on the hill, now that's the Steen's basalt. Basalt is a lava rock, uh, much like of what comes out of Hawaii today. And this represents the first of the Columbia River basalt eruptions. That happened around 16.7 million years ago. And lava's poured out for about 800,000 years, flowing over much of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Now, interestingly, roughly coincident with that is a global warming event known as the Mid-Miocene Climatic Optimum. How the eruption of these lavas influenced that warming event is still argued, um, but potentially may have had an important influence. But why this site is particularly interesting, as I said, is that it occurs just before the eruption of these basalts and before the warming. Now we're doing a project right now to look at many fossil sites, span the eruption, span the warming, to see how vegetation is changing um, across those events. So this is giving us an idea of what vegetation looked like in this region just before the eruption of the basalts, just before the global warming event. And lastly, we'll, the last thing we'll do aside from collecting fossil plants here is we only have a rough idea of how old um, the sediments here are and the fossil site is. So we're going to collect volcanic ash from these layers that we can use radioactive isotopes to tell us exactly how old the site is as well. Now we'll go to the quarry and have a quick look and show you what we've been doing over there. All right, so we made it to our quarry. Here you can see where we've been working and uh, with a nice view of the Alvord Desert and the Playa Lake. So not a bad place to work here. But you can see um, we've been removing quite a bit of rock because the fossils are not terribly abundant. So we have to move through quite a lot of rock to get the sample sizes we're interested in. But you can see a little profile of the rock here. Um, the fossils start about here and then move down um, to about here. And what we're actually looking at here is the bottom of an ancient lake. So these are muds that would have been collecting at the bottom of the lake. And what happens is plants that were growing around that lake shed their leaves and fruits and flowers and cones and things like that into the lake and it got buried in this mud as it stacked up. We've got an example of a leaf that we pulled out of, out of there here. The rock is uh, quite hard. And just at the bottom, you can see we've got a very thin layer here. This is actually a volcanic, volcanic ash. And this is one that we hope to date to give us an idea of exactly how old this site is. All right, so this is Sam Lavin a recent graduate from the University of Washington, serving as a field assistant on this trip. And he's gonna show us a little bit about how we actually work the quarry. Yeah, so as you know, this is the quarry and it took a lot of work to get it the way it's looking now. Most of it used to be covered in all this over, this rock we call overburden. Uh, we used this pick to remove a lot of these upper layers that we knew didn't contain any fossils, such as this one. And then once we got down to the fossil layers, uh, we use tools like this sledge, especially for the harder rocks, and uh, chisels, and this uh, type of shale splitting rock hammer to wedge out these blocks like this one, which is where we're extracting the fossils from. This is one of those really hard shales, and what we'll do is we'll usually set it down, uh, grab a hammer and chisel, and then what I'm looking for are planes of weakness in the bedding. Usually this fracture is somewhat uh, flat, but not always. We can get lucky here. So that was a nice flat one. Can open it up. And it doesn't look like we found any fossil, leaf fossils in that one. 
Um, as Alex mentioned, this layers aren't very productive, so most of the time this is what we're finding, but hopefully we'll find some more leaf fossils soon. Let's turn the ones we found over here. Got a leaf right there.